Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a total house decorate with me throughout my kitchen, our entryway a little bit. We're going to be in the dining room. We'll be in kind of the hallway that connects my dining room and the kitchen and I'm so excited. I cannot wait to share all of this with you. Um, please definitely wait till the end. I kind of have something very special I'm doing for my kids that I definitely want to share with you. You guys know I love all things home, all things family, all things traditions. So this is an awesome, awesome video to kind of show all those little ways that I make it special for the kids. If you're new here, my name is Lauren. I would love it if you would subscribe. I'm going to be doing so much more stuff in 2021 this year. I have just focused on all of my decorate with me's, but if you enjoy watching those, definitely hit the like button. I cannot wait to get started. So the first thing I'm going to do in here is kind of clean up a couple things up here and then just put some simple garland. I actually wanted to take all of this stuff down, clean it and put kind of a forest up there, but I just kind of, this day was really tough for me. So I thought it would be much easier to just add a little bit of garland. I didn't know exactly where to put all this blue and white stuff. I definitely need to do a declutter y'all in 2021. Like uh, it's one of my number one, I've been doing my 30 day challenge. That's one of my biggest goals this year is to kind of get my house in order. So I'm going to be adding some Christmas lights and I'm going to add some nice little felt Christmas trees I picked up from the dollar spot at Target and then kind of uh, weave out some red ribbon throughout here and then we'll get started on the other side. There's a rumor spreading all over town. I wanted to also mention to you guys if you haven't already, check me out on Instagram at Mrs. Lauren Nicholson. I share so much more over there because it's a lot easier for me and if you guys want even better and more inspiration for Christmas decorating, definitely check me out there. Christmas Day will be so originally I was going to be putting a wreath here, but you guys know I picked this giant Santa up from Hobby Lobby in August. I had been eyeing it for so long and I'm so happy I did because it sold out super fast. But I thought it would look so beautiful here, plus the kids can kind of look at Santa every morning and at night when we're having dinner if we eat in here and I just thought it would look perfect. Tell me in the descriptions down below, do you guys love it up there or should I put a wreath there? And then I'm gonna be using just a little bit of decor behind the stove here. I kinda of don't wanna to go too overboard in the kitchen because we cook a ton, as you guys know. So I just tuck a couple little picks in here and then I'm going to use one of these really beautiful, uh, it's like a cookbook stand I got from Hobby Lobby this year um, and add one of my husband's grandmother's cookbooks, which I really love this tradition she had. Um, she used to make gingerbread houses, like giant villages out of gingerbread. And when I was putting this up, I noticed her little cutout that she would use to make her gingerbread was in um, one of her old cookbooks. And I never got to meet her, but I always think about her so much. Ron says all the time how much um, we were so much alike and had so many of the same little traditions. And I just think it's such a beautiful little thing to have in the house. So I'm just gonna tidy up this area and then get started putting some really beautiful bows and a nice wreath in the window. comments down below do you guys if you have curtains do you also do these Christmas tie backs if you looked in my other videos I always kind of use different uh, ribbon to tie back our um, curtains depending on whether it's fall or Christmas or Halloween or whatever and I am doing the same exact uh, ribbon throughout the whole house so it all kind of looks the same but I'm just curious do other people do this tell me in the comments down below Sometimes I wonder if you're near or off yonder Though I couldn't tell you why But wherever you are, near or off far Outside my door or in the leopard bar I still wish you the baby of Christmas I hope it will 
In each of these corners, I'm just gonna add a couple little pops of Christmas. This is our um, cookie jar you guys saw in my decor haul that we got from Home Goods. And I'm just gonna add this old Santa I've had since I was a kid. I absolutely love him. And then on this side, I wanted to go with some darker decor since the uh, hallway here, which we're gonna do next, is gonna be a little bit more of a darker theme. So lots of blacks and dark reds and dark greens. So I'm gonna be using one of those cute little signs I picked up from Michael's and then some cute little trees and a nice little village vibe. Also kind of goes with my Lee Max village. If you guys saw my Lee Max decorate with me, it is definitely over the top. So please go check it out. Um, and then I'm gonna be hanging a metal Merry Christmas sign I picked up from the uh, Target area where you saw all the new um, Studio McGee stuff. I absolutely love this. It was a little more expensive than I wanted to, to spend on a sign, but it's metal, so I feel like it's going to hold up um, for quite some time. Well, I'm all for Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. So this tree I picked up at Hobby Lobby. If you guys saw my entryway decorate with me, um, this is the big brother of that tree. It is a nine foot and the other one is a seven foot. And maybe it's a five foot, no, it's nine foot and 10 foot. And what I love about these, again, they're pencil, they're really, really slim. So I can put them in our house. Our house is an 1891 Victorian, so we don't have like a ton of space. And what I love about these trees is they're really, really small and compact and they're easy to put together. And I think the quality is awesome. So I'm gonna be using my bar cart here and bringing in some kind of um, winter farmhouse vibes to this area of the house. When you guys see my home tour, we're gonna go from the porch all the way through the house, and each area has kind of a different theme. So I really love the way it all is tied together through the reds and greens, but um, you'll definitely see this has more of a modern Christmas vibe. So now that we have this little bar cart all set up, I'm going to be adding some ornaments to the tree real quick. These are really modern kind of farmhouse ornaments I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I will link them down below if I can find them. And then that cute little black and white checkered um, reindeer, I guess we could call that, or deer, <laughs> I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'll actually link everything down below, but pretty much everything you see here is from Target or Hobby Lobby. And then I added another little Christmas tree here. I just felt like it needed one more Christmas tree, you guys, because you know I love adding Christmas trees to our house. So I'm gonna add a little bit of ribbon. I feel like it needs to kind of tie in or be a book end to this area. So I'm bringing in some of those darker reds and darker blacks and greens, and I'm just gonna add the same ornaments and that area is done. And then for this area, I'm just gonna add two garlands. This is the blueberry garland from the Studio McGee line at Target. And then I'm also gonna be adding a nice red, kind of holly berry uh, uh, garland to this area as well, just to kind of warm it up. And again, bring that um, kind of thread of red through the house. and stillness fills the night. It's Christmas. Into wonderland, a snowball in each hand. Take me away, Christmas Day. There's joy. And now
now my absolutely favorite part is my tabletop decor. So this year, I'm not gonna go crazy in this area. I loved my Thanksgiving uh, tabletop decor. If you guys didn't see that, it kinda had a Christmas vibe, so if you're looking for more inspiration, definitely check that video out. I'm gonna be adding some more garland to the center of this table, and then I'll be adding some kind of mercury glass um, candle holders that I'm gonna be using my like flameless remote control ones. That way I can use this all season long. I did realize when I was making this that I didn't love the chargers that I have for this table. So I'm going to actually go to sleep after this and wake up the next morning and redo it with a couple chargers and things that I picked up from Michael's. They had an awesome sale after Thanksgiving. So I was able to find some awesome things that I will share with you next. have the table set and before I go to bed I thought I would share one of our little foster kittens with you this is sneakers he's so sweet and just needed a little extra cuddle if you guys are looking for something to love this holiday season definitely adopt don't shop head out to your local foster center or any kind of shelter and find a nice cat to love or a dog or a pet because there are plenty out there Take me away, Christmas Day. So now it's the next day. I got those awesome white uh, little tree picks from Michael's. I wanted to bring in some of the white from the entryway and I also found these perfect chargers. I was looking for a dark red that wasn't glittery or sparkly but more traditional and I found these and I love them. And you guys know these Merry Christmas uh, plates I got from Target this year. I love them, they're super simple. And then I'm just gonna be adding these cute little Christmas um, napkins that I picked up from, uh, where did I get these? Home Goods. I picked these up from Home Goods and I used the little Christmas black kind of farmhouse napkin rings and then these cute little name holders that I picked up. All of this I picked up at um, Hobby Lobby as well. Keep on smiling 
fun tucking in those cute little orange peel and holly berry little picks I picked up from Michaels. You guys know I love to like add little picks to the tabletop decor. I'm gonna add these cinnamon uh, pine cones. I love these, they smell so good. They make this dining room smell like heaven, like Christmas heaven. And then once I'm done with that, we're gonna move on to some, um, I'm gonna put some wreaths in the window in here and also kind of hanging throughout the room. throughout the house I'm gonna add the exact same ribbons on these curtains as well I really love how these just kind of add a little pop in the corner I know I got some comments about how I should make these bigger but I really just wanted to keep them a little bit smaller this year and not make them a giant focal point I don't want the house to feel like too much and you'll see in my home tour that it kind of just has a really beautiful little flow with little pops of color throughout that all kind of match so i'm just going to add a cute little wreath here and gabby and aria if you're watching this thank you so much for coming over this weekend and helping me decorate finish decorating our house for christmas i love you both so much if you know where it is please give him a ride and i by the So for the final part of the house, I am up super late this night and feeling ultra mom guilt. I'm gonna try not to get emotional at this part, but I have been so busy this year and you guys know how much I love making Christmas special for my kids. And I know a lot of you have been saying you hate hearing the same song, but this song actually means a lot to me because it's talking about how 
it's hard being busy, but this Christmas we're gonna slow down and we're gonna do everything together. We're gonna dance more, we're gonna bake more, we're gonna sing more, we're gonna decorate more, we're gonna do all the things. And this year, as I'm finishing school, I have 10 days left, you guys, and then I graduate. But it has been, it's been a challenge, but it's been something I hope someday my kids will look at and be proud of their mom for going the extra mile. And and um, this means so much more to me than you guys even understand. So I'm feeling ultra sad this night. So what I decided to do is instead of doing a cocoa bar, I decided to do a cocoa centerpiece bar, I guess you could call it, and really decorate the table. This is where the kids come down and have breakfast every morning. And I usually do a little something, but I've never done anything like this. So I'm gonna add kind of a candy cane wonderland with all the things you guys all the cocoa things um, I'm gonna also be adding a um, little cute Santa mug and then a little water glass for them and I hope you guys enjoy this I also add our advent calendars which is a fun tradition we do every morning I'm sure most of you guys do that as well just to something fun that the kids can do and I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this uh, in the comments down below Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everyone else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Oh oh La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 oh 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 La da 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 Making our Christmas memories I've been wrapping presents for you I've been hanging marbles in the tree And I've lit my house with Christmas lights So you should come back home to me up in the morning I'm gonna play those carols that you love We'll be singing all the melodies Until the sun comes up These are the good times with you Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories Thank you guys 
so much for watching this Christmas decorate with me. I must have five up now, so definitely go check out the other rooms in our house that I have decorated for Christmas this year. If you are new, please subscribe so we can share a lot more with each other in the new year. And from our family to yours, Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys have a warm and wonderful holiday. I'll see you soon. And to see you again Baby, this year It's just gonna be you and me